Kazan Federal University was established by Emperor Alexander I in 1804 and became the third oldest university in Russia. At that time, it was the easternmost university in the country, and its educational district covered the Volga region, the Kama region, the Urals, Siberia and Caucasus. World-famous dignitaries such as writer Leo Tolstoy, Soviet revolutionary leader Vladimir Lenin, inventor video recorder Alexander Panyatov, and many others were students of Kazan University. The great mathematician Nikolai Lobachevsky was among the longest-serving rectors of the university. By the presidential executive order, Kazan State University was transformed into Kazan Federal University in 2010. Seven local universities merged with it as well. The total number of students has risen from 16,000 to 44,000. The number of international students has exceeded 6,000. They come from 94 countries of the world. The average age of our teachers and professors has decreased from 52 to 44 years. Based on the strategy of scientific and technological development of Russia, demand from society, public authorities and business, Kazan Federal University chose its priority development areas. Biomedicine and pharmaceutics, advanced materials, oil extraction, refining and petrochemistry, info communications and space technology, social studies and humanities. Kazan Federal University is rising steadily in international rankings thanks to the contributions made to the priority research by our physicists, chemists, biologists, mathematicians and social scientists. All priority areas are inextricably linked with digital technology. Our three structural units in mathematics and IT are engaged in robotics, big data, machine learning and artificial intelligence studies. In line with the chosen priority areas, brand new technological developments have emerged at the university. Medical research and education were also returned to the university. We established the Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology, which engages in graduating practicing doctors and medical researchers. Classroom studies are complemented with practical lessons in our medical simulation center, featuring the use of simulators and machines produced by the medical engineering center. The innovative nature of these technologies is attested by the fact that Japanese colleagues have bought our products and are adapting them on their own platforms. Kazan Federal University adheres to the open science paradigm and has established a number of open labs and excellence centers with participation of the world's leading researchers. The university's medical cluster currently comprises the Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology and the University Clinic. The latter has become a platform for technology transfer, research and education. About 90,000 local residents are serviced by the University Clinic and there are 870 beds for inpatients. The University Clinic works on introducing cutting-edge methods of cardiovascular treatment and other high-tech innovations including genetic medicine. Our Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technologies actively expands worldwide with its expertise and applied research for the hydrocarbon industry. With its numerous international students, the Institute conducts research in underground refining for oil companies from China and Latin American countries. Graduate students are participants of this research. Some of the Institute's equipment and technology is unique in its respective areas. Engineering is represented by the new Institute of Engineering. Here, robotics and additive technologies are utilized for the benefit of our research, including medical implants. Nabiruzhny Cholny Institute is an educational hub for automotive and machine building industry of the Kama region, with partners including truck producer Kamas and household appliances company Hire.
Our distinguished School of Chemistry helps advance projects in medicine, biology, and petroleum and gas industry. University and Nizhnikamsk Neftihim, local petrochemical powerhouse company, together opened a catalyst production. Physicists work on quantum technology, advanced materials, and new communication methods. Astronomical research is backed by two large telescopes, one in Russia and one in Turkey, and big international collaborations. The University Planetarium is a unique educational platform for students of all ages. As for the teacher education, Kazan Federal University ranks first in Russia, holding the position in 101-125 group of the Times Higher Education Ranking. The Lyceums of the Kazan Federal University represent platforms for transfer of teacher education technologies, where students have a real opportunity to put into practice the knowledge they gained in the process of study. Various projects, techniques and initiatives are being tested at its premises for further scaling up in other schools. Excellent TV production rooms and equipment are used to benefit our students of journalism, who have opportunities to hone their knowledge at the Univer TV channel, a full-scale broadcaster presenting TV programs in local cable and over-the-air networks. The university welcomes many luminaries for guest lectures, including Nobel Prize winners Akira Suzuki and Ryoji Niori, Jures Alferov, It's Hacker Dizis, one of the most outstanding business coaches and consultants of the world. Presidents of Finland and Austria visited Kazan Federal University to learn more about its history and contemporary developments. Delegations of Latin American and African ambassadors went to Kazan University to negotiate potential cooperation in education and science. Kazan Federal University often serves as a venue for international events covering important social, economic and political issues. Leading global universities gather to discuss the future of teacher education. NISPC is a network of public administration schools of Eastern and Central Europe. Kazan Federal University hosted Times Higher Education Research Excellence Summit, initiated by the leading British journal. That high-profile event featured first-ever presentation of the university's ranking included in the Eurasian Times Higher Education list. We work to create favorable conditions for our enrollees. The student dorm campus at the University Village is a whole residential block with shops, sports facilities and infrastructure. Kazan University students are eager to showcase their talents and engage in various hobbies. Kazan Federal University has been named one of the strongest in Russia by international dignitaries. And this is very great university. This is one of the largest university um, in Russian uh, Federation. Uh, I met great uh, faculty members. I met great students. I find them to be so enthusiastic, so happy to, to be here and to study here. And by the way, they are not Russians. I mean, they are mixed from, from all over the world, which is to the credit of this university to, to host so many nationalities, because if, if the education here is no good, they will not come. This is truly one of the great universities in the world, and it's been a great honor for the United States to carry on programs with Kazan University. And I want to thank my hosts today for this wonderful visit, and I will forever remember the goodness of this school. Leadership of the Russian Federation pays significant attention to Kazan Federal University. Uh, yeah, Сегодня 
познакомился с инфраструктурой, которая создана уже в университете в рамках Института фундаментальной медицины и биологии. Но прямо скажу, что все это, конечно, производит очень хорошее впечатление. Очевидно, что это все такого очень хорошего технологического уровня, можно сказать, мирового уровня. Вот мы сейчас только что смотрели площадки Казанского или теперь уже Приволжского федерального университета. Безусловно, это один из примеров того, как вуз с историей, с традициями, с хорошими, с выдающимися научными школами может отвечать на вызовы времени и идти вперед.